Now let's see, using these rackets here, how you can use the concept of the flying wedges to build a powerful repeating golf stroke. Notice when I put the racket handle under the heel of the left hand, I've got my left arm wedge formed. When I put it in the cup of the right, I've got my right forearm wedge formed. Really, that's the only difference between the left hand grip and the right hand grip. In the left hand grip, it's under the heel of the hand. In the right hand grip, it's in the cup. Now, you probably hadn't thought about that because you've got the thumb actually in the cup, but the thumb's against the shaft, so the thumb in the cup of the hand is the same thing. Consequently, you don't have an angle formed with the right forearm flying wedge at the top of the hand. Its angle is formed at the back of the wrist. Now, notice, with my right forearm on the same plane as the racket, and again, the left arm is not on the plane of the racket, it points below that plane. You're so. Now, how many times in a thousand do you think you could bring that racket in, square on? Uh, maybe 687 times out of a thousand? How about a thousand times out of a thousand? You bet. And if I brought it down into here and did the same motion, could you do this reasonably repetitively, <laughs> like every time? I think so. And in a little chip shot, that's really all you're doing in the swing. You're using your right forearm to take the racket back here, or the club, when you're in, in the game, and you're simply using the right forearm to return exactly back to where you started from. This is not rocket science, folks. You set up exactly where you wanted to be at impact. In the golfing machine, we call that impact fix. So you know exactly where you're coming back to. Left wrist is flat, right wrist is bent, and you come right back to exactly that spot. Now, as we go to longer swings, halfway back, right forearm level to the ground, or all the way back, right forearm, excuse me, right hand level with the right shoulder and on the plane of the stroke here. Now you can take it back a little further to the end, but this is what we call top. It's the top of a straight line path to the ball. Excuse me. A straight, a straight line path to the ball. And it's down that path that you will direct your thrust. You can go back to here, but then you must retrace and then down in that straight line thrust. So we have a top position that looks like so, much like taking the oath. I promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Maybe back to here. So notice that the blade of the racket, the face of the racket is exactly on the plane. It's not facing out over here. It's not facing out over here. And because the right wrist hasn't cocked, it's not in this condition. It's not bent back so, where I can carry a tray. In fact, I could be supporting a leaning wall with this forearm and right wrist. I support with my right palm the face of the inclined plane. So, notice that my right shoulder is turned back. It's on the same slant as the plane. So now my right shoulder and this meaty part of my right forefinger, what we call the number three pressure point, are now on the same plane. My only job now is to load the pressure and to bring it down the face of the plane in a straight line toward the ball. So I've got my racket so, and remember, that's nothing more than this. <laughs> that's where I started off from, see? Isn't that simple? Here. And now I'm going to return it to, the, to this racket that's down here. This is your new golf swing, right here. You use your right forearm. Take the club up to the top and right back down. Up to the top, again, hands, hands are right shoulder high and on plane. That's nothing more than this. And then right back to here. So this gets you back to impact. So now you, can, you have to go from impact, you can follow through to here, to both arms straight. Guess what? If you come back into here, you are going to have no problem going on to both arms straight here. If you come into here, if that forearm's high, which is what 98% of you guys are doing here, well, you can't follow through. If your life depended on it, you're going to be in here. There's just no way because you're off plane. If you stay strong with your right wrist bent and your left wrist flat, you will miss the ball or you'll hit behind it or you'll do something because you're, you're not coming at it from the right direction. So what will you do? your computer will not allow you to miss the ball, so you throw. And you get those shots that tell you that you've thrown. Not good. But if you come back along the line of your right forearm, here, 
Then you will, you will follow through powerfully to both arms straight. And then you'll have a finished swivel right here. And, and you will go into your finish.